All right, it's uh, Thanksgiving. We ran out of tape last night. So we're going to the only store that's open. 24-7, 365 Kmart to get some tape. We got our tape from Kmart today. It's Thanksgiving. Um, we pretty much did all our uh, all our seams on the um, flashing. Uh, you can see right here. You can see right here the seams it goes all the way through. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go uh, parallel with the uh, the cross members, and we really want to make sure that no water gets in. And this is probably overkill. I'm sure there's gonna be some tiny house experts watching this and just kind of laughing. All right, we just finished taping our flashing, sealing off the bottom of our trailer. Um, and uh, now we're gonna go on to insulating our subfloor. So this is what we will be using for the insulation. This is polystyrene otherwise known as styrofoam. And we're gonna be using this tool to cut it into pieces that go in between the cross members. It has these nice little marks every inch and a half and that will also help us cut in straight lines. This one is a must have for every dude. Uh, it's a Makita um, and it is a sawzall or a saw, electric saw cordless and we didn't want to deal with cords so we all got we asked for cordless tools and that's what we got so this thing's pretty handy um, pretty heavy duty and uh, pretty legit All right, so we uh, we finished putting in the foam on our subfloor. Um, we have to do a little more spray foam um, to seal it a little bit and to hold it nice and tight. Uh, tomorrow we will do the wood, um, the wood paneling, uh, the plywood floor, and then uh, probably move it. So uh, making good progress. Yeah. yeah. So we're making good progress, and uh, now we're about to go eat our Thanksgiving dinner. Hot it. For goodness sake, oh, we will make it. Mm -hmm.